Recording. All right, hey guys, Fitz back here. We got some BMW action here, so this is going to be some pretty epic stuff here. Do you want to introduce our players? Yeah, sure. So in the top left corner, we have the Red Terran, Reps Largo. And then in the bottom left corner, we have LRM Pike. He's a Polish Zerg. He's an A-minus powerhouse. Um, just a little bit of background about Pike. You know, he's been around for a long time. He's been... He's been good for like eight years, like no joke, like the guy is just a badass. Oh uh, yeah. He's com competed in WCG Poland, like like murderer's row of players he's taken out. So if anybody can take out Largo and get a win right now for LRM, it's him. Like he is so good. Yeah, I think the other thing though, um, or at least I think I've, I believe he did this in game one. I think he opened with Lurker instead of Hyd uh, Mutilus before. I'm not sure if, the, I think that's just his play style. I don't. He's just opened up with Lurker, I think, twice now, both games. So that's something out here. And Largo, man, this guy can do any kind of build he wants. He's gone mech, he's gone bio, he's gone everything. Yeah, he's really talented, Fitz. Like, yeah. Uh, he, you know, the thing about Russian Terrans is it's like there's a dime a dozen. It seems like every Terran in Russia is good, and it's <laughs> legit. It's no joke, like... I, I try to recruit them onto my team, you know. It's, yeah. They're, they're, it's like they're so talented. Oh, if they're like, okay, it's like, what's your nationality? I'm Russian. Russian. American, yeah. No, 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 no. I think for, for, for your uh, clan recruiting, it's like, what, yeah, yeah. what, what well, race are you? Russian? What race yeah, are you? We... Terran? Yes? All right, you're hired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. Back when we started the team, the team was mainly Russian. But now yeah. it's it's grown to more international, like, which actually fits the name of the clan. But, but yeah, w when we first started the team, it was pri primarily like three Russian Terrans lined up, <laughs> you know, yeah. and some Zergs. Oh man! So we see Largo scouting um, from location. It's a tri spawn map. You can spawn at the seven, the three, and the eleven. So yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I'm kind of excited about this map because it's a three-player map and there's no Protoss playing right now. So I, I don't see Terran versus Zerg on this map that often. Usually a Protoss picks this map. So yeah. um, I, who do you know who uh, won the last game by any chance? Yeah, Pike did. Pike Pike opened up with like... He, he was looking like a three-hatch meatless. He, well, he, he went three-hatch lurker, but... Largo went a mech style that was really, like, literally there just to, like, just hard kind of Mutalisks. He just got, like, a lot, he, got, he invested so much in Goliath, and then when the engagement happened, there was a lot of Goliath there. And Goliath aren't terrible against Lurkers in general, but, yeah, pretty, it, it just went into uh, Pike's favor, and then Pike just pretty much ransacked the whole natural, and then it kind of, and then Pike eventually tr then retransitioned back into Mutalisks. Just to recap, and then that cart Largo a little off guard, but he didn't. Pike didn't really do anything with this meat list, though, so it was it was a little disappointing. But uh, other than that, um, and then that just followed in him taking two like really far off expansions that really never got punished and got like 75 lings, and it was something really ridiculous. <laughs> it was like it was something really ridiculous. And Largo's again gonna go Mac. Yeah, yeah. Gonna... I think uh, I think if. Pike's best option. It's really hard for the Terran to take his natural on this map. So if I'm Pike, I'm gonna be trying to get a contain on the Terran and just keep him turtling, and just keep throwing as much crap as I can at him, and then just try to take the map. Yeah. Now, why is that so difficult to take the natural? It just seemed like a normal choke. I just think that um, it's a pretty easy area to just. Just, just fly mutas over the cliff and back and forth and just weave, you know, and just. Oh yeah, 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 just, yeah, yeah. You can get, uh, you can get lurkers in there and just run them into the natural like no problem. Mm -hmm. So Terran's gonna need quite a bit of tanks to, Hold to off. cover suppression fire. Yeah, and yeah, he's definitely gonna go full hard into, uh, mech this game. Um, I think. I think Goliath tech root for mech would be. I think. I think it's just literally a factory, then just straight up into armory. Well, yeah, there goes down the armory right now. So yeah, it, he's gonna go Goliath again. There's really no question about it. Unless he was doing like plus one tank timing push, which I 
It's kind of a bizarre timing push to, <laughs> to really have. Are you serious? That lane's gonna get it. Oh, okay, that was gonna be. This is gonna be a little scary right there. Oh. So, um, it looks like Largo's trying to put a little pressure on that. I don't like this spot where he put his Evo chamber at. I mean, it's not serving a purpose as a wall right now, and it's. I mean, what was the point in actually just having it there, and to possibly get sniped? I think that was a poor choice in wall. I mean, it was just so like this. The. the the vultures don't just like go around like the edge of it, but yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. the the one thing that should have happened though is that sunken should have been up more to defend it. Like yeah. the sunken, the, yeah, like that would have that, that would have been fine. Like that sunken placement would have been fine if the sunken was up like two places, I think, and yeah. it should have been in range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but his hexing, he was a little off. I think he might have just did that nervously, just dropped it there. Yeah. So. I don't think there was really like much. I, th I think that was just like the general purpose. Like, well, I'm going to stop any kind of run by happening. Right. Uh, but otherwise, yeah. He's really pumping out the vultures. So uh, you don't see this that often in TVZ. So I'm kind of interested to see what Largo's planning to do here. Yeah, I mean, it feels like. I don't know. Like, it feels like StarCraft 2 esque in, in, in a way. Where Vulture and Heli... Have you ever played StarCraft 2? No, you said, yeah, you yeah. Said... So he's trying to do a Hellion push is what you're trying to say? Yeah, I'm not sure if he has, like, StarCraft 2 influence in his play, but I'm just saying, like, it, it looks StarCraft 2 against what... Except you really don't do that in StarCraft 2 anymore, but that's, that's a whole different story. But, yeah, it just it just looks like that. Um, where you try to... But then again, it doesn't really serve much of a purpose because Zergs don't tend to drone up that hard anyway, but... Mm -hmm. I guess that's the thought behind it. Like, well, if they don't drone too hard, well, if I snipe off a ton of drones right here, but he doesn't have speed until he gets, until he has speed done, there's really not going to be too much he can do. Yeah, it, he's got five vultures. You know, get him out running on the map. Get him surrounding your hydra list. You know. Yeah. But now he's getting backed up into his natural, just like I said, and it's, you know, he's going to put on Pike's going to start putting on max hydra pressure. Maybe put a few mutas out there and start just harassing the hell out of him. Yeah. Yeah, Pike's definitely running in right now. He could, I think he could, He if once he gets range, I don't think he has range yet, but once he does it, he might be able to snipe this bunker, take out this barracks, and then just maybe mass ling into the base. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, that's better. Can't I can't really tell. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. What happened? Oh, oh no, 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 no. I'm like, I'm in, like in between like four different audio levels. I'm trying to adjust them so they're not, one's not too oh, loud than the other. No, no, it's um, not your fault. The thing about Goliaths, I think they're just like walking trash cans, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah? So, yeah, I really don't see the purpose, but he needs to get, if he's going to do it, he's got to commit to making a lot of them. Yeah, that's know? what, I mean, Largo loves these things, and... The, I mean, like, it's like an unexplored area of what I've seen. Like, I just haven't seen Goliath really used in this matchup that much. But when it tends to, like, look out, it, it, they're kind of like, like bad Dragoons. Like, they kind of fit that role but in, in some ways. Like, they're like, they're not terrible against, well, they're not terrible against Hydra in general, but Hydra are really good against them. And if you get enough Hydra, if it's one-on-one, -on -one, tends to be Hydra don't win. But Lurkers are not terrible lurkers do, do, do do their full damage and i don't think they have as as much range on the ground as dragoons do but they are they do are they're like outside their radius um of their or the like inside like the very skirt edge of their radius of attack range for lurkers so they don't they don't take as much damage from lurkers from the splash damage so i guess they're okay yeah i totally agree with you you know but the, but it's see. it yeah yeah okay yeah i but i just think that the way he has them right now just sitting idly like, if I got my Goliaths, you know, I'm going to pump out as many as I can and then just get them out there hunting for Overlords, you know, just trying to snipe Overlords and then just, you know, maybe snipe a few random Hydralists, you know, just keep them moving because right now, like I said, they're just, they're sitting idly, so to me, they're just a waste of money. I think it's just anticipating, I, I mean, I, again, I can't only speculate, but I... I just feel like he's paranoid about Mutalisks. And we have Overlord Drop coming up right now, uh, which is very interesting. Yeah. I don't think we even have a Spire. No. No, we don't even have a Spire up. Which yeah, he... is bizarre. 
That's the thing like you were saying yesterday when we were casting that Largo doesn't use his scans very well. I don't know if he just doesn't scan tech or if he just he just never uses his scans at all. Yeah, I have I I really have absolutely no idea. I mean He's not a bad player. I mean, he could pull off these random like or, or almost random like build orders, but this somehow makes sense. Um I just there tends to be a reason why Mech isn't as isn't as used in Terran versus Zerg because of like late game Dark Swarm, right? Um, and I just feel like the way this game is heading, like their other two games have gone to like almost like twenty five minute plus games. Uh, late game just doesn't tend to work well for them, and especially in a map this size, Zerg can expand freely. Yeah. And even yeah. speed vultures aren't really that great against speedlings anyway. I mean, they could they could try to out micro them, but. I mean, th then you have to be like actually actively microing your your vultures around all the way around the map, and again, that's another reason why your vultures aren't really that used in this matchup, in my opinion. But yeah, like you said, Fitz. But what the thing is, what's funny to me is like you know, Largo picked this map. He had the map selection, so I would oh, okay. he would have had he had some uh, he had some thought process, hopefully, in mind when he picked this map for what kind of build order he was going. But right now, I don't I don't see what his plan is necessarily because. He's just letting the Zerg, you know, expand and expand, and and it seems like Pike is almost like enjoying this more than him at this point. I, I I'm just I'm looking around the map and like what would make this tech like mech friendly. Um, yeah. And I'm not really seeing a whole bunch of like drop play you can really do on this map. Um, I mean, sure you can like exploit like the edges of the main, I guess, with like siege tanks, but like. There's really no like tech. I mean, like pro. It's not like a Protoss where they're gonna like hide their tech there. It's not. Not only that, it's like it's bizarre. But I mean, Pike's gonna go for a draw play. I mean, that's just coming right in inbound. We saw drop being researched. It looks like he's just gonna do like a doom drop in the main base here, and that can definitely work against Mech, especially. Um, and especially when where Talents are gonna be like thinking like, oh, there's gonna be a recall happening right about now. I mean, that's just not gonna happen. Drop play isn't really used that much in Zergs. And it helps to this benefit right now because if they can get off a really nice drop off, it's gonna be really great. Great. Right. I think uh, Pike needs to get this drop going as soon as possible right now because he's allowing the Terran to just get two nice solid uh, bases going right now. And once that happens, you know, like this Terran's gonna start upgrading and just eventually he'll start his hard push, you know. So Pike yeah. needs to get something going. Yeah, no, that is 100% true right now. Um, he weighs up. Well, I mean, let me just look at these army things right here. Um, Pike. I don't care. Okay, so 53 to 40 harvesters, and that's in Largo's favor, which tends to be against Zerg. Uh, 18 vultures, 13 tanks, 9 goliaths versus 33 hydra and 54 lings, like 8 lurkers. Like, that's a, that's a ton of. Zerg. Yeah. Um, but the other thing, the other thing that I note though is like last game. I know you didn't watch it, but feel free to watch the VOD eventually. But there, like Pike was in a position where he could just get like a, a huge pincer on the army because like the mech army was in the center. Here, there's like no way to actually do that. Like it's like, oh, you want to attack my third? Well, you're gonna go through like 40 tanks, like yeah. or like 15 tanks. Like Hydra are just gonna melt. Lings are gonna melt. Like. This unit composition isn't really that great against mech without fast defiler, which um this 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 really isn't really a fast defiler anyway. I don't think he even has a defiler mount out yet. Is what I'm looking yeah. at. I'm not seeing a defiler mount. Yeah. Yeah, Largo's got a lot of tanks. I mean, like, damn, like put them to use. Let's get going. Like, go snipe a natural, do something. But right now he's just sitting idly. Pikes running around the map looking to snipe little things but I I don't know what Pike's plan is either at this point like it looks it looks like he just keeps committing to Hydras but Hydras are gonna get destroyed by this army right now yeah and I think one of the reasons why well Largo's not gonna well, well right I'm saying that he's gonna push out <laughs> I was gonna say he's like mo most most Terrans don't I mean it's, this is very so much like TVP-esque like yeah like he's like three basing against him. It's like it's bizarre. But anyway, like Terran like 
wants to push out like maxed out and they have like three three i mean he doesn't have the upgrades really that well um and the other thing though is like this army's slow like you don't have vultures i mean you don't have as many vultures because they're in they're in goliath supply now they don't have every goliath could be a vulture which he just doesn't have so i don't know it's a big map too yeah but this is the time where you want to set up a pincer attack but yeah, he's just gonna. Yeah, I think Lager's just gonna win. Where are his position right now? There's no way to like actually like grasp this army without Dark Swarm. He doesn't have. Okay, he's just gotten Defile, uh, Defiler tech out, but he doesn't even have Consume out. So things are are not looking great for him right now. Yeah, I think he was a little too late on his on his drop play. To be honest, he had ample time to get in there. And the thing is, if he would have dropped in the main base, he could have like caused a lot of havoc and Terran would have been too slow to react but right now he's coming around the back trying to get a nice snipe and snipe some tanks I think this is the point where there's just too many tanks and you just cry about it <laughs> <laughs> I think there's just too many and there was a drop um, in the main base there is the aftermath of that right still happening over there on the south part of his main base but yeah like you said he, like, he is like gearing up for like a like a, a drop timing which it's fine, but like he even had a hive out for like quite some time. There's really no reason why he shouldn't have gotten his defiler uh, tech out faster. And not only that, he should have gotten consume, and he's still not getting consume. He might be able to hold this. It looks like he, nah, maybe not. No, there's no way, Fitz. Not with that many tanks. Pike, yeah. Pike blew it. When you have 16 tanks as a Terran versus Zerg, I mean, say good night. It's over. 17, but yeah. <laughs> Jesus. That's so many. Yeah, I know it's. If I was if I was Pike, I'd be pretty embarrassed by this game to be honest. I know his style and his skill, and he has really good <clears throat> world class TBZ, and this is a pretty bad game for him. That was interesting. I mean, the, he just didn't execute a drop. Like that's like that's the only reason why. Like again, it's like, it's it's like almost like StarCraft two esque because yeah. what. What they do there, what Zergs do there, is because Mech is more prosperous on that. Um, so we saw what Reps won. So we, I, I, know, I guess I know who wins now, but uh, we'll still continue to cast the other series. But um, so Reps is up 3-0. But yeah, it was like almost like StarCraft 2 s because it was like you uh, people will roach drop, which is like I guess similar to Hydra, on like the same purpose, but. It was just, that was so, like, yeah, it was such a bizarre game. But, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, GG right there, bro. Yep. I'm still a little disappointed in Pike, though. I, he, I've seen better from him. Yeah, I, I, again, it, 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 I think it just boils down to the, the drop play. The drop play is, is you're going to invest in it. Because it was, like... Yeah, it was a disappointing play. It was lackluster. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, and I'm, I'm disappointed. For a what? game three, for a game three. Yeah, yeah. Right. I was, I'm bummed. I'm a little bummed right now. Because what it should have been was, is he should have, like, if you're gonna cut tech to do a, a push, like, it's never a great idea, but you can do it anyway. But the thing is, he cut tech, but he didn't actually push, which is like. Kind of the whole, it kind of defeats the purpose. So it was like he had just put himself behind when he didn't need to be, and yeah, the mech worked. Yep, good game. Good game.